Hi guys, this is Jamie from System22 and Great Web Design. Welcome to this video. What we're going to do here, this is a bootstrap website, and what I'm going to do is I want to add a social media share sidebar to the side of this so that people, when they visit, if they want to, they can share it on their social media profiles such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. And to do that, I'm going to go over to Add to Any. They've got a beautiful free floating sidebar example right here. And uh, I'll drop this link below this video. So what we need to do is, well, they've got a horizontal one and they've got a vertical one there. This is the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to copy this code here that they've given us. Not including that script because I'll add that in just a second. And I'm going to put it into my HTML code. I'm using the brackets editor here. It's a free download from brackets.io. It's real good. I do recommend it to anybody if you want a free text editor. Now I'm going to put it, you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it just above my footer. It really doesn't matter because it's, it's going to stay on the side there. So we put that in there. Just tidy that up just a little bit. Okay, and save that. Now, if we go back, we want to copy this script and put it with our other scripts on the page. Depending on what scripts you have running, uh, you might need to experiment with where to put it above or below certain other scripts, but it should, it's fairly small, straightforward script, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll put it just below my carousel script because that's where it's kind of located. Not that that really has any bearing on anything with JavaScript. So I've just pasted that in there. Now I'm going to save, Control S, and back to our site. And do a refresh. And there it is. It's on our on our left hand side up there, um, which is great. But uh, it's not exactly what I want. It's pretty close. What I'm going to do is I think I want to add the LinkedIn button there. I don't think I'll keep this plus button with all the all the other bits on there. Let's just have a if I click on that. It should bring up a little panel there. Uh, if we inspect that, I think all I need to do is add the link then. Now, for those that didn't know, I'm just right clicking and hitting inspect. Yeah, all I need to do is add the the link then or LinkedIn button there. And also, the other thing I'd like to do is I'd prefer it if you know, if I had a white site, that would look great. But I prefer it, I believe, having a transparent background there so, so the slider shows through a little bit more. So I think we'll do that. So if we go back to our text editor, that should be fairly easy to implement. If we go up, back to where we were. Uh, just above the footer I believe there's the footer there we have it right there I'm gonna get rid of this that's that little plus sign that brings us up the others I'm not actually gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna do this Right there, they say button, Pinterest, button, Google+. Plus. All I think I've got to do is put button LinkedIn in. Button underscore LinkedIn. I think that's spelled right. 
there we go that should do that and they've got some inline style here style style left that's that's telling it where it needs to be so it's left zero so it's right on the left hand side and it's 150 picks from the top um, I think that's fine for the minute we'll have another look, look at that and I'm just going to add another attribute background we'll call it transparent this is just regular CSS here Or obviously if you want it a specific color if you know that color just put that in there now we'll do a save and let's go back to our site and do a refresh that's great that's more like it that's what we wanted um, so we've got Facebook Twitter Google Plus Pinterest and LinkedIn and if you click on one of these it'll take you to the profile page where you can actually share which is awesome um, which is just what we wanted you know the, you just click on it it'll open up your, your profile whatever it is you may have to log in if you're not already logged in I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down just a little bit further maybe so it's down there so about another 150 picks let's try that if we go back to our brackets and in that style thing there, here's the how far it is from the top at the moment. Let's try 250 and see what happens. And quick save, control S, back to our site. And a refresh. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I mean, I could even go a little lower. I think I will I'll maybe go 300 and see what happens just so it's a little more central there but you get the idea obviously with your site it may be a little different you put it exactly where you want it control s and back yep that's <laughs> okay let's get a bit anal now <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take it up about 25 picks so it's kind of a bit more in line with that arrow but that's almost exactly where we want it so we just take 25 away that'll be 275 of course you can do this with the inspector beforehand to know exactly where you want to put it I'll show you how right now Well, that was even a little bit too much up. I'll show you with the inspector. If you just click on one of these, right click, hit inspect. I'll just reduce that just a little bit. Take that down. I'm using Google Chrome here. For developers, I think it's the best there is. Now, if we actually click on this. The div that's just beside it. Let's have a look here. There we go. And I've got it at 275, so we decided it was slightly out. Let's try 285. So I'm over here in the, the right panel. I'm just going to change that to an 8. It'll drop it down a little bit more. Well, ooh, see, it looks like about 290 would be correct. I should have done this first, really. It's a time saver. This way you can put the, the code in. Yeah, that's almost spot on. If you want to go real anal and get it in line with the arrow, let's go 292. Yep, 293. Are you bored yet? No, I'm kidding. It's great. This is... This is Google's wonderful for doing this. So that looks absolutely perfect there. 293 is the number we want there. So if we go back, well, that's the number I want on my side. Obviously, yours may be totally different. So I'm just change that to 293. And do a quick save. Back to the site, refresh. It should stay exactly where it is. And there you have it. 
uh, there's a nice little sidebar added to our website there. Now I'm going to go along and I'm going to add it to all of these pages here, or the, the pages that are relevant to sharing of course, and that is the job done. So there you have it, that is how you add a floating social media share sidebar to the side of your Bootstrap website or HTML website. I hope this has been useful to you. This has been Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.